We told you guys, we told you, didn't we? In our last video about three flip devices coming up in 2024, Amber Nick is going to meet its quota of releasing at least 12 devices a year. Jokes apart, retro handheld maker Amber Nick appears to have another exciting device in the works, the RG35XXSP clamshell. In typical Amber Nick fashion, photos and videos of this unreleased handheld have leaked online, generating buzz among the retro gaming community. While some speculate this is part of Amber Nick's guerrilla marketing strategy, there's no denying it's an effective way to build anticipation for their upcoming products. The RG35XXSP sports a transparent clamshell design highly reminiscent of Nintendo's iconic Game Boy Advance SP. The leaked video, shared by Twitter user at Game Boy Juntaro, provides a clear look at the device powered on and running what seems to be Amber Nick's custom OS. The OS looks different though. It's not that crappy, laggy stuff Amber Nick devices usually have. To be really honest, Amber Nick really needs to up its custom OS game or maybe partner with some good open source OS. At this point, it feels like Amber Nick's build quality has improved a lot, but the OS is still from the 2004 era. Clamshell form factors have surged in popularity lately with upcoming devices like the Retroid Pocket Flip and MiU Flip garnering significant interest. Amber Nick is wise to jump on this trend and offer their own take on a clamshell emulation handheld. The SP's compact, pocketable design should make it a great option for gaming on the go. Details are scarce, but the RG35XXSP is rumored to use the same all-winner H700 chipset found in other recent Amber Nick devices like the RG35XX Plus, RG35XXH, and RG35XX2024. This quad-core Cortex-A9 SoC should provide ample power for emulating 8-bit and 16-bit consoles, as well as some PS1 and N64 titles. And to be honest, this is good enough. You don't expect to play PS2 games because the experience will not be good. The 3.5 inches IPS display, while smaller than most modern handhelds, looks vibrant and sharp in the leaked footage. A 640x480 resolution would be my guess based on other Amber Nick devices using this screen size. Expect a 2600 mAh battery providing around 6 hours of playtime. The RG35XXSP will likely ship with Amber Nick's Linux-based custom firmware, but I fully expect it to be compatible with the popular third-party Garlic OS as well. Having the flexibility to switch between the stock and community-developed firmware is a huge plus. Out of the box, the device should support a wide range of retro systems including NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, PC Engine, Neo Geo Pocket Color, PS1, and more. Emulation performance remains to be seen, but Onbernick's recent track record leaves me optimistic. Anbernick has not announced official pricing or a release date for the RG35XXSP yet. However, based on the company's other offerings in this product tier, I predict it will launch between $50 to $100. The RG35XX currently sells for around $65, while the more powerful RG35XX Plus goes for $85 to $100. Hitting a $70 to $80 price point would position the SP as an attractive mid-range clamshell option, undercutting the $130 Retroid Pocket Flip while offering a more premium experience than budget models like the $40 Powkitty V90. As for timing, the leaked video suggests the hardware is mostly finalized. I wouldn't be surprised to see an official announcement within the next month or two, followed by a release later this summer. With the RG35XXSP, Amber Nick looks poised to deliver a compelling new entry in the fast-growing retro clamshell handheld market. The leaked images and specs paint a picture of a highly pocketable, reasonably powerful device that should excel at emulating 8-bit and 16-bit era games. If Ambernick can deliver solid build quality performance and battery life at the right price, the SP could become one of the most popular retro handhelds of 2024. As someone who loves compact clamshell designs and grew up with the GBA SP, I'm very excited to get my hands on one for testing. Competition in this space is really heating up, and that's a win for retro gaming fans. Between the RG35XXSP, Retroid Pocket Flip, MiU Flip, and others, we'll soon have multiple high-quality clamshell options to choose from at various price points. 
It's a great time to be a handheld enthusiast, isn't it? Having said all of this, and to be really fair with the audience, I feel like MiU's Flip Mini is going to be better amongst these two, especially on the OS front. And if Anbernick is watching this video, please Anbernick people, try to improve your OS, please. I like your devices, but the problem is the OS is so unbearable. This is where we are going to end our episode. If you liked what you see here, let us know in the comments and drop a sub. I'd be grateful. Have a good one and be safe out there. See you fellas soon.